Romans chapter 6, talking about don't let sin dominate your life. As a new creation in Christ Jesus, or whoever you are, boy, I tell you, God, man, God, you're too good for sin. You're too good to be entangled in death and destruction and, and a perversion, all that kind of garbage. Listen, you're too valuable to God. Now listen to this scripture. What shall we say then? Romans chapter 6. We're going to look at a few verses here. Verse 1. What shall we say then? Are we to continue in sin that grace may abound? See, that's the question many are asking today. They say, well, or they're or twisting today. You know what? Man, it's God's, God's, I've got God's grace. It doesn't matter how I live. Well, look, what he's, that's the question. Listen. Or I'll put it in this question. What shall we say then? Are we to continue? Is it okay? Is it legitimate? Is it okay with God? Is it okay as a Christian for me to continue sinning because we're in grace? How did Paul answer that? Well, let's let the Word of God. Let's listen to what he said. Let's let the man answer him. By no means, English standard, how can we, oh, listen to this, people. See, we're, you know, part of our assignment is helping you know who you are in Christ. How can we, who die to sin, still live in it. Oh, look at this, people. You see how God sees you? As far as when you call on Christ, listen, he says, you know, he reckons you. You're dead to sin now. You no longer have an allegiance to sin. Satan no longer has control over your life. He can no longer make you do what you used to do. You're no longer a prisoner to the old life. He says, how can we who have died to sin still live in it? Do you not know? Oh, look at this. Do you not know? Which means, see, he had already taught them this. He's reminding them. As some of you have been reminded, like I'm reminding myself here. He said, don't you know? All of us who've been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death. We were therefore buried with him by baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. Someone say newness. See, there's a new life in you now. See, there's a new course of life for you. Dead works don't belong to the believer. See, there's new life. There are new works. God made you born again in Christ Jesus for you to live a righteous life. A good life. See, a righteous life. Doing that which is good. Full of love, goodness, kindness. Man, that gentleness, meekness. Being a sweet, endearing person. Not a mean, ugly, condemning person. Man, that we might walk in newness of life. Listen to what they said, verse 5. For if we've been united with him in a death like his, we shall certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. Now we're talking, this is not something in the future. He's talking about, in this, in the, in this letter, he's talking to them about the reality of a new life in Christ freed from sin. Now look at verse 6. We know. Oh, look at this. Underline it. Write it down. He says, we know. Not going to know. We know. But he's emphasizing it. Just like you and I, we've got to emphasize this. Emphasize this. Listen, we know. What do we know, Paul? Our old self was crucified with him in order that the body of sin might be brought to death so that we no longer would be enslaved to sin. See? God doesn't want us to be a slave to sin. One of the benefits of being born again is what? Freedom from sin. Listen, for the one who has died has been set free from sin. This verse helped me as about 19 and early, to early 20s. You know, different temptations. Can, and I realized one day I was in prayer and I realized, you mean I don't have to sin? I, I couldn't, be, I, it almost shocked me. You mean I don't have to live a life of sin as a young believer? I thought, look at that. Look at that scripture set me. I said, look, you mean one who has died 
has been set free from sin. You mean the devil just can't make me sin? He can't just make me a slave? I, I thought, oh my goodness. You mean I have a choice in this? As a new creation in Christ Jesus? You really do. It says who is one who has died has been set free from sin. Say it with me. I'm free from sin. Jesus has set me free from sin. I've been liberated.